On Friday, Thunder Mountain Speedway ran three makeup features to start their program for the evening. Let's see if Ryan Hess can go two for two in the pure stocks. Steve Arthurs would jump to the early lead in the feature event. Just behind him, it is the 25 of Mike Calhoun, who had broken a spindle in the earlier makeup feature. Here is the 97 of Ryan Hess, who was trying to go two for two on the evening. By lap three, Calhoun has already powered past Arthurs to take the point position. Doug Zimmerman in the Orange 88 engaged in a good battle within the top five with Colton Joyner. Hess looked poised to double up, as here he takes second away from Arthurs. A caution later in the race allowed Hess the chance to challenge Calhoun for the win, but he comes up a car length short at the finish. Mike, congratulations on the win. It's going to come back after losing your wheel there in the first uh, feature. Yes, thanks. Uh, got a rough start there at the beginning of the night, but the uh, whole team got together. We fixed it up and got back out there, won the heat, and got a win in the feature. And uh, in the second feature there, the regular feature, you got to run against Steve Arthurs. Now, you guys are buddies. Does that change things, how you uh, race each other? Uh, no, we equally run hard against each other, but we both know it's fun, so it makes it that much better. And then we had some cautions, which uh, allowed Hess to gain right on you, and he gave you a, a good run there at the end. Uh, were you worried? No. No, I knew I had that top line pretty well set, but I tried getting down the line to hold him off, but it didn't work, so I stayed up and worked out for me. And it seems to me, like here in Hummingbird, uh, you got this thing pretty well dialed in. Oh, my, yeah. That's the only two tracks we run usually. Sometimes we go to Dog Hollow, but, yeah, Hummingbird, Thunder Mountain, got her going. Arthurs came home third, followed by Joyner and Zimmerman. In other action from the evening, Eric Bond was victorious in the Super Stocks. Brandon Connor, Kyle Shannon, Tim Bish, and Bruce Hartsfeld round out the top five. And Chad Greeley picked up the win in the Enduros over Ryan Kemmer, Aaron Hill, John Miller, and Bill Butler. Earlier, we had highlights of the 100 lap modified feature from Mahoning Valley Speedway. Let's take a look at some more racing on the tight confines of the quarter miler. We don't have much time left, so these will be quick. Then again, races at Mahoning can be over in only a few minutes. These are dirt modifieds on pavement. This is Scott Holmes smoking the right rear on his way to picking up his first ever victory after 23 years of racing. Your top five are Holmes, Mike Stofflett, Bill Briggs, points leader Chris Graver, and Randy Thomas. As I've said, the action is plentiful. In the late model feature, Gino Steigerwald in the zero gets by the two of George Ramos to take the point. He would never relinquish the lead. I guess it was hug a driver night at Mahoning. Steigerwald held off points leader Austin Koshnosh, Paul Kohler Jr., Paul Skodachik, and Dave Wallace. The street stocks may be the most entertaining class at Mahoning. They actually have to run consolation races. Here, Josh Mooney in the 12 gets shuffled high, leading to some three wide racing. Up front, Gene Bowers in the 29 takes the lead from the 05 of Austin Santee. And Santee is left on the top side to try to hold off an onslaught of Camaros. Bowers held on for the win. Sean Zatarchik, Austin Santee, Randy Honor Jr., and Jeremy Miller round out the top five. In the Pro Fours, Barry Chrisman Jr. won his fifth race in six starts this season. In the Micro Stocks, made an appearance with Roger Snyder taking home the checkers. I would like to thank promoter Doug Hoffman, track announcer Dino Oberto, and all of the staff and fans for their hospitality. By the way, if the name Doug Hoffman may ring a bell, well, that is THE Doug Hoffman, who was recently enshrined into the Dirt Modified Hall of Fame. Before the race, I spoke with him about Mahoning Valley and his involvement there. I will have that story next week. But up next, we'll take a look at some upcoming events for this week and a driver's special number one fan. Keep it here. When you think golf carts, think Jake's Custom Golf Carts. With over 300 stock and lifted carts at their shop, you'll find the cart you need or have Jake's build one to your specs. Custom airbrushing, lift kits, sport shifters, rear seats. You name it with the expertise and craftsmanship people have come to expect from Jake's. Come see for yourself why Jake's is the nation's premier golf cart provider. Jake's Golf Carts, Route 522 McVeigh Town, online at jakesgolfcarts.com.